So very exciting times. I've uh, been on a bit of a journey to try and develop a budget anamorphic alternative for my GH5. I was really keen on testing out the 6K mode. Um, and so I bought a anamorph an old anamorphic cinema lens off eBay for 100 bucks. And uh, I thought, let's see what I can do here. So I scoured the internet, tried to figure out how all these anamorphic lenses worked. And uh, what I realized is that I actually had to cut or take a hacksaw to my anamorphic lens to make it work, which sounds very strange, but um, that's what I ended up doing. What I actually had, had to end up doing was being able to adjust the distances between the two element glass elements of the, this anamorphic lens to be able to focus it, um, uh, as well as double focusing the actual lens on the barrel. So. Um, quite a process but I've ended up with a system that I think is pretty cool like low cost budget but uh, as you can see from some of the clips I'm um, getting extremely sharp shots which is really good and um, yeah I, I encourage if you have a GH5 um, and you're keen to experiment with um, with anamorphic shooting uh, look on eBay I can uh, link in the description to uh, the place the type of lens that I bought for 100 bucks and um, yeah I hope you enjoyed this and check out some of the test footage What's really great about this setup is that I'm actually using the full sensor within the GH5, uh, shooting at 6K resolution. And then, um, yeah, so essentially I'm getting 6K resolution out of a, um, you know, out of a Micro Four Thirds sensor with a $100 lens. And um, you have to really stop down the taking lens, which is I'm um, using an 85 mil Canon 1.8. Uh, you have to really stop that down to be able to kind of get any sort of uh, definition or sharpness. Um, but you can see because you're kind of using um, the full uh, the full size of the sensor, you get quite a nice kind of. Uh, looking shot um, here and yeah it's just a, a great kind of thing to mess around with and I'm keen to post some more um, some more maybe portrait stuff of this so stay tuned if that's what you're interested in.